Good afternoon, this is Stephen Willotion and I'm coming from my little backyard garden here in Montreal, <coughs> uh, Canada. Um, <clears throat> it's a beautiful day today. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the process of my film Zero Visibility. Uh, in, in the past, I've made a lot of films that were, um, I would say, like a direct intervention of ink and scratching on 35 millimeter film. And this is the kind of the area of the films which I call like deliberate um, manipulation and deliberate intervention. And uh, in films like Zero Visibility and the Homestead Act, uh, Rosetta Stone, um, parts of the, of the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls, and other films like that, what I'm trying to uh, um, uh, investigate is accidental interventions, like the interventions of of bugs and uh, enzymes. So uh, a lot of the film was basically uh, buried in the ground. Uh, it was also um, put in plastic bags with yeast and sugar, letting enzymes and mold form on the film. And then it was basically cut up like a jigsaw puzzle and put back onto clear leader. Uh, I, I really like making films like this. Uh, I find it's nice to be um, just an observer in how a nature um, attacks uh, celluloid and, uh, and emulsions. And uh, zero visibility for me is a really good example of that kind of process. And it also says in a way that a lot of the films that we, um, that start off as figurative or uh, shot through the lens of a camera uh, can be broken down into an abstract film. Oh yeah, what a beautiful day and it's time to bury some more film. In fact, I think the film we're burying now is um, an old print of Synchromi by uh, uh, Norman McLaren. Let's see if you can see it right there. It's been lying in the ground, uh, lying on the ground actually for about three months. Okay. Talk to you later.